Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A wedge of mass capital M equal to 2M rest on a smooth horizontal plane. A small block of mass small m rest over it at left end A as shown in figure. A sharp impulse is implied on the block due to which it starts moving to the right with velocity v0 equal to 6 meter per second. At highest point of its trajectory, the block collides with particle of same mass small m moving vertically downward with velocity v equal to 2 meter per second and get stuck with it. If the combined body lands at the end point A of body of mass capital M, calculate length small l, here neglect friction and put g equal to 10 meter per second. Let's see what the question says. Here we have given a wedge which having the mass capital M equal to 2m and a block kept on it and its velocity is 6 meter per second when we have to give me some impulse okay and when it's stuck to this uh, surface then it reaches up to the height b and here another particle which having the same mass m stuck and then fallen down and we have to calculate this l when it is sliding and fallen down at the position a and its height is given 20 centimeter okay let us first we have to apply laws of conservation of momentum. First of all, we have to put m for the block m and its velocity is v0. And then it get the velocity. And here the friction like surface. So therefore, mass of the block and mass of the wedge and of combined velocity because it's although moving along with this block. So therefore, we have to calculate the velocity of v. So m its velocity is uh, 6, here 3m, v, this is cancel out, 6 by 3 equal to v, 3 by 3, 3 to the 6, v equal to 2 meter per second. Here, the velocity of this wedge, okay. Now, we have calculate, when this block reaches up to this height, then it's dividing two components of vx, and that is Vy. Okay, so for Vy, we can calculate m, mass of the block, and its combined velocity when it moving along with this wedge. So therefore, velocity mv and uh, is equal to laws of conservation of momentum that we have to apply. So 2m, mass of this wedge, component of x. Again, mass of the block, and here the component given release are separated then its velocity of x direction that will be 0. So here m v upon 2m is equal to vx here m m cancel out and what is v? We have already find out 2 upon 2 so 1 meter per second that is x direction component 1 meter per second okay. Now for the y component that we know that m a v a plus mb vb when that is stuck that uh, ma plus mb that is vy so when it gets separated then its velocity along the when it reaches up to the at maximum height that velocity is zero and here mb that is same mass so it is m and uh, here the velocity of given this block that is 2 meter per second so here 2m m m again 2 m because m a equal to m b equal to m given that is the same mass okay so 2 m and v y so again 2 m upon 2 m that is v y so here v y equal to again 1 meter per second so v y equal to 1 meter per second clear now applying conservation of energy conservation of energy here when we get or give the impulse of this block, 
that its kinetic energy is m v naught square, and which is which is moving on this wedge, that kinetic energy is one by two m mass of the wedge that is two m velocity of combined velocity v square, and here it reaches up to the maximum height. So here we are using potential energy also m g h on for only for the block, okay? Because block reaches up to the height maximum height. So here one by two m here six because initial velocity is given six meter per second thirty six one by two three m here the velocity of wedge and with block that is. We have find out already two, then two square that is four. M G H. Here M get common and cancelled out. So therefore two ones are two, and eighteen times it is cancelled. Eighteen M M get common. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Six and uh, plus G H. So here M M cancel out. Eighteen minus six. Is equal to G H that is twelve and G we are given in question put ten so our H is equal to one point two meter. Okay, so here we get the value of H one point two meter. Now for the time to reaches downward direction that is uh, we can use the formula H is equal to U T plus half. G T square H is equals to one point two and U by that is a uh, one we have already find out that so T plus one by two it is ten and T square two and the two two five the ten one point two T plus five T square so here it can be written as five T square plus T minus one point two equal to zero two five the A to six to twelve, so twenty five t square plus five t minus six equal to zero. Okay, now we can find out the value of t with the help of quadratic equation. That is t equal to minus five plus minus here twenty five minus four twenty five into minus six upon two into twenty five. So minus five plus minus Twenty-five minus minus plus, and it is six hundred, and twenty-five two is a fifty. Then x equal to minus five plus minus six hundred and twenty-five. That is six twenty-five, and its root is twenty-five upon fifty. So taking positive sign only because not uh, here the time is not negative. So twenty-five minus five that is twenty twenty by fifty. So it means zero point four second. Okay, so here we get the value of time zero point four second. As we know that the formula of range s is equal to here x component of velocity into time of flight t. So here v x we have already find out one meter per second and time zero point four it is in uh, second. So zero point four meter and uh, If we have to convert into centimeter, means multiply hundred, then we get forty centimeter. So its length is forty centimeter. Is correct answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success. i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye